What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is Extract Archive to Folder. Now Extract Archive to Folder is an interesting action because what it actually is saying is that you can take a zip file and unpack that zip file and then put the contents of that zip file in a different folder if you want to specify that. So although it says extract archive, what it's talking about is zip files. So zip files were sometimes considered archives and certain technologies and things, but that's what this means and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So let's jump in. I've got a flow here. This is my OneDrive for Business flow. And I'm using a trigger, which is when a file is created properties only. Um, I'm using this because I want to get the file path out that I'm going to use later on. Now I'm going to explain why. So um, in a minute, so we'll look for the OneDrive for Business connector, we'll choose this one, we'll scroll down until we get to this extract archive to folder. Now, one thing I've noticed is that it's sometimes a little funny about using the show picker to actually find an archive folder. Um, that's actually one of the reasons why I'm using the when a file is created trigger, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a zip file into my OneDrive for Business and then have this trigger that way. And I'm going to use the output of that in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in and then I'm going to find uh, this piece of dynamic content down here called list of files path. So what that is, that is the that is the doody um, you know path of this file. I'm really hoping someday someone's going to tell me what the name of that's supposed to be um, because I just keep calling it the Druid style path and the, you know, the other one is the, the user-friendly path file name. Uh, but if you're a OneDrive business expert, please let me know what that's supposed to be called. Um, so that's going to use that, which is more of a, a Druidy thing. And then next thing I can do is I can specify a destination folder. So I'm passing in the the, the source of the folder, which is going to be when I drop the file in here, it's going to run and it's going to pick up that zip file from this piece of dynamic content, and then we're going to do something. Uh, and then I need to specify a destination folder. So for the destination folder, I am going to use the picker. So I click on the picker and I choose the arrow. Go down to Power Automate. Go to the Stop Looping folder, and then I have a new folder in there called Test. Now. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to specify overwrite. Now, when I was doing my testing with this action, I couldn't get this to work if overwrite wasn't set to yes. So what overwrite is supposed to do is if there are files in that folder already, it's supposed to overwrite that folder. But even if there are no files in that folder already, if you don't specify overwrite, it won't put those things into there, into that folder. I think what it's supposed to do, or what you could potentially do is create a folder on the fly and then put that parameter in, but um, I, I can't really get that to work. So um, if you know any differently, do let me know in the comments down below. But if you want this to work right now, specify overwrite. The one thing to do to note though, is that by specifying overwrite, what we're going to do is we're going to delete the files in that folder and create these new ones and export these new ones into there. So let's test this out. So we'll hit test. Uh, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my OneDrive for business. So I'm jump over here. And then I'm going to upload my folder or uh, my file. Let's go to files. Have this one on my desktop called custom orders uh, prods ERD, which is something I was working on with a friend. So we'll drop that in there. And that has a couple of files in it. So we'll go back to my uh, my flow and we can see it's run successfully. So we can see it's run there, and then we hit the extract folder. We can see we've got that GUID path where it's, it's specifying the drive and this GUID, and then at the end we've got the, the names and stuff of the folders, uh, and then we can see some other information, and we can see uh, that it's giving me some details about what it's done uh, here. So there's no details about the files in themselves that you've exported. This is just more details of, yes, I've done that action. So if we go back to my OneDrive business, if I go in the stop looping, then go in the test folder, we can see I have two files here. So these two files have been created and come from the zip folder here. So if I open this, you can see there's two files in there, 
and that's what it's done. So it's taken a zip file, it's exported it, and then put that into a folder. So this is a really cool action because if you ever get in zip files from customers that may be dropping stuff in your, your OneDrive for business because you're trying to share files and you don't have like a team set up or anything else like that, or even if you're doing this with colleagues and you're getting zip files uh, put in, you could have this flow like set up to detect when a zip file drops into a certain location to export that um, and unzip that into another location so you can access those and you have to you know download or come in here and then click and then you know download these individually this will just do it automatically for you so that's really really cool functionality but as always i want to know what you guys use this for if you do use this at the moment let me know or if you don't use this and you're thinking about using it again let me know what you're going to use it for it's really important to me because i really like to understand different use cases for all these technologies so please let me know if you like this video if you would like it and share it with your friends that would be much appreciated if you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.